Uh, two questions, one for Stefan Kinsella. Um, the question of IP has been fairly controversial, even within libertarian circles, although I think um, the consensus is probably moving in your, your direction. Rothbard, for example, thought there, there is a case for, for copyright uh, as opposed uh, to patent, con a case in contract law for copyright. Um, what is the state of play amongst libertarian thinking uh, uh, thinkers now? And in, and, and, and in particular, have you had this discussion with, say, Ayn Rand and aficionados, because Ayn Rand was almost paranoid on the question of intellectual property in favor of uh, intellectual property. And the other question is for Tony Daniels. Um, with your contact, personal contact with a number of murderers, has that affected in any way and in what way your thinking on the death penalty? Uh, all right. Uh, the, I know some objectivists who are now against intellectual property, and I know some, a few anarchist objectivists, so not all objectivists uh, here even to this. Uh, so I've actually got a web post where I list the few objectivists I know who have come around on IP. Um, my impression is that most libertarians never thought about IP very much until it became a big issue after the internet in 95. Um, Ayn Rand was in favor of it, I think because it was in the Constitution and because she was a novelist. So she was self-interested and she revered the Constitution. A uh, hundred years ago, so there was a big debate in Liberty Magazine between uh, uh, like Tack Cack and uh, uh, Benjamin Tucker about IP. Uh, there was a big debate about it in the, eight, eight, uh, the, the, the 1800s between free market economists who were opposed to it because they saw it as intruding into the market. Um, and uh, Lysander Spooner even was insane, <laughs> insanely bad on IP, even though he was good on so many other things. Um, he, like, uh, like uh, uh, Galambos, who's probably the craziest ever on IP, um, believed in perpetual copyrights and patents, so they would last forever. So we would be paying royalties now for the use of fire to cook food and the wheel, and it would just be, we would, we would die as a race because no one could, could move. <laughs> You'd have to get permission from everyone, and we would just die off. Um, my impression is, as libertarians started looking at this issue, by and large, they're opposed to it. There's a few empiricists, uh, utilitarian-minded, and minarchist types, and constitutionalists who are still in favor. So my impression is virtually all anarchists, of the left anarchists and the uh, anarcho-capitalists, pretty much all against it. Most Austrian libertarians are against it. Uh, left libertarians seem to be against it. Um, radical libertarians seem to be against it, by and large. Um, there is still some debate, but uh, honestly, I get asked all the time, hey, would you do a debate on IP? Who would you suggest on the other side that's any good? I, 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 don't, I, re I literally don't know anyone who has a good argument for IP, not even one that's plausible. Um, Richard Epstein mouths off about it, but he, he doesn't he doesn't, pr 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 he doesn't produce any empirical evidence to back up his empirical case. There's a, an objective named Adam Mossoff who keeps threatening to unbosom onto the world H the, the, the true objectivist argument for IP that Rand never really gave, and we're still waiting to see something that makes sense. But their argument basically is that uh, rights come from the creation of what they call values, and you own the values you create. They say they, they don't have a proper understanding of the subjective theory of value, that we don't own values. We demonstrate that we value things by, by acting to, uh, to achieve them. But value is not a substance or a thing out there in the world that you own. You could call uh, 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 an object that you produced a value, but you own it because it's an object that you produce. It's got nothing to do with the ownership of values. Um, so I think that's the current state of play. Bachlup was against it, Hayek was against it, Mises was against it. In the Austrian tradition, almost all economists were against uh, intellectual property. Yeah, and Rothbard, Rothbard's uh, argument on copyright is, is confused. I don't think he, when he used the word copyright, he clearly did not have in mind what the word copyright means. Copyright, because he, he, his argument included a mousetrap, which is an invention, which is, which is what patent law covers. And he, his argument looks like it's a contractual argument. He's, I think it, it's, it's a little bit confused, but I think the best way to understand it was he was envisioning a, a web of contracts that people would make. They would, they would put limitations of use on objects they sold, and he thought that somehow could bind third, third parties. But I think he lost sight of the fact that the information is separable from the underlying own thing. 
and he should, he, should, he should have seen that because of his good argument on defamation. If he would have applied his defamation argument to the IP case, he would have, I think, cleared up his mind on the copyright issue.